Okay. So we'll do a normal run with our normal team. So this team doesn't have anything special. It's just all the new units with Sanji. Sanji can be replaced with Zora, I think. Um, but it's better to use Sanji because if you get one of the variations on stage four, it uh, Sanji just deals with both of the gimmicks. Um, and then um, the, the support are just stat boosters. So nothing special with this team. Actually, I do need to... There we go. Okay. Stage 2 is Sengoku. Sengoku always special binds our characters for 2 turns. Roger's crewmate ability removes 1 turn of it. Some people opting to use specials on this stage, but if you have matching slots, it's not really that bad. And then we have... Rayleigh, so there's Rayleigh or Odin on this stage. Roger deals with both either the defense up or the attack down that can be inflicted. Roger also will give us damage reduction because the enemy does go ahead and do a death hit. And then the EX super of Roger extending the duration of his orb boost so that we can have it in the next stage. We probably don't need to extend the orb boost to be honest, but I mean, it just makes the this stage easier. So you either get Garp or White Bit on this stage, they both bind your middle row and they both will do different defensive effects. So in this instance we can use Luffy Special which will change our slots to matching, give us the attack boost, remove the bind. And then we can go ahead and use the Sanji Special twice to remove both the Rainbow Shield and the, and the uh, defense up. So Sanji removes Rainbow and defense and then Luffy removes Threshold, so no matter which variation you get, these order of specials will always kill. And then we move on to the last stage and we just use everything. That's pretty much it. He does a lot of different things. Like without the new units, this is actually kind of tough. I guess you could use someone like, um, you know, someone that bypasses defensive effects with their normal attacks. That would actually get through this pretty, pretty comfortably, I think. Because it goes through the damage immunity. It goes through the rainbow shield. He goes through the threshold. Shanks giving us the chain boundary because we already have color affinity boost. And that's it. Max boost. Okay, so with this team, um, this is a team if you don't have Roger, but you have everything else, because I know some people have that situation. So we're going to have a slightly different team from the max boosting team. So let's go ahead and run it and see how it goes. So the main reason why I already had this team like pretty much pre-built is because Carissa didn't have Roger. So we had to come up with something a little bit different. Alternatively, what you could do is you could start as Nami and then use your super switch on the um, Sengoku stage here but I think it should be okay. So the Marku and Vista support does have a typo in its actual text. It says that it only removes special bind on the supported character, but that's actually incorrect. It does remove special bind on everyone. It's such a good support. Okay, so we have Odin here and Odin is going to go ahead and do the attack down. So we have Germa because our slots get changed. So it enables us to actually get a tandem slot. And then Nami Karina removes either, well, the Karina removes attack down or defense up, as well as reduces damage that we take. So this combo will allow us to just kill either variation, which is really, really good. And then basically from here on out, it's exactly the same as the max boosting team. So we get binded, we get the garb variation this time. So Luffy removes the threshold and Sanji removes the defense up. So use Luffy. And then we can use Sanji special twice to remove the defense up. I was considering putting like a defense up removing support like the Int Kizuna Brook, but then I also kind of realized that if you get Rayleigh on stage three, then the support will proc earlier, which means you still have to use two specials anyway. So it's a little unfortunate. You can't really make it too much faster. So with that activated, we move on. And then final stage, we just launch everything else. GG. Okay. Color affinity from Luffy. Luffy special to get rid of the threshold and also give us a base attack boost. 
Shanks gives us Chain Boundary and removes the uh, Rainbow Shield. And then Ace does give an orb boost to characters that are not boosted on this team in particular, but it does go ahead and remove the damage immunity. And then we win. So, same team, just without Roger. Pretty straightforward. My stamina is broken? No, I just used a bunch of meats. Sengoku. How are you going to deal with the paralysis on the last stage? Yep, support in the ship. Not the best matching slots. I have a feeling this is still not going to kill. Okay. Yeah, it was good. We just needed slots that were not bad like that. Okay, let's see how this goes. I only needed to remove one more turn. Okay, that's fine. Okay. How does the super tandem activate? Is it just two taps? Just two taps. Okay, I guess we'll last tap with them. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that worked. We didn't get the super tandem off, but it's fine. We did it, let's go! All right, um, okay, I think this should work. If it doesn't work, well, we suck. I mean, to be honest, we still suck, but you know. Okay, so Shanks and Luffy don't have the maximum boost, but they'll still be fine. Unless uh, when we use Ace's EX Super on the final stage, they will. Okay. So now we use Roger. And let's extend it, because why not? <laughs> yeah, we're using Luffy here. 
I'm gonna say, why is the bind removed? Am I tripping? Okay. And then last stage, we just use everything, and this should work. Okay. Then the special. And then Nami. And then Nami. And Shanks, because why not? Because why not? Okay. So that's a team if you don't have Ace. Alright, let's see how it goes. No Shanks, or only Ace and Roger. So now we want to use Nami special. Wait, what is this? Bro, I don't remember being get oh no, it doesn't matter. It's alright, we remove it. We have to use Nami here. Um bad slot on Sanji, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, the ship the work. Okay. Okay. Working well, working well. Boss stage. Full team of boosters doesn't... Well, I mean, you gotta use the team effectively. And this is technically not the full team, so... Okay, so Shanks does affinity and he's also he buffs attack boost so we use him first okay inflict increased damage taken and then Zora can give us a chain boost and remove the threshold. Yeah, exactly, Dill. Okay, so now we use the Super Tandem and we finish on Ace. Well, technically, we should have finished on Zora, but it's fine. Because Zora is boosted by all, all units. So that worked well. Someone was saying it's going to cost 100,000 tickets. That seems a bit hefty. I don't know if that's true or not, though. We can't use Roger's EX. Because we need three listed units. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Because it means we don't have a buff when we move into the... Uh, Stage four. But we can use Sanji and we get increased damage taken at least. All 
Alright. Sure. We need good slots here. Um, they're not great. I kind of almost want to reset my game, to be honest. Those are dog shit. That's yeah, alright. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, making moves. Okay, we're gonna use Luffy special first. Oh yeah, someone removes paralysis with their crewmate ability, right? Oh, we don't even need the Luffy support then. Will that actually still trigger? It doesn't actually trigger, okay, lucky. All right. All right. We've made that hard on ourselves, but it worked. Okay. Big moves. Big moves. Shout out to the Aura Jackson coming through.